Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lady Tarot T. I am back with another reading. Okay, I'm back with another pick a card reading. Okay, we have four piles here. Um, this pick a card reading is going to be who has a crush on you. Take the messages that resonate with you, leave the rest for someone else. Okay, um, so keep in mind this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everyone. If this reading happens to resonate with you, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to click the little bell button so you guys can be notified whenever I upload a reading, okay? Or whenever I go live or whenever I, you know, upload a pick a card reading. So, as you can see, we have four piles here. First pile we have is the palm crystal. Second pile we have is um, the rose desert stone. Third power we have is the heart crystal. And last but not least, we have the tower crystal. So, take a few minutes to contemplate on which power calls to you. The timestamps will be down below in the description box as usual, okay? I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Let's get into this reading. Alright, so for those of you who picked my palm crystal stone, let's get into this reading and let's see who has a crush on you. And, you know, just to be sure, just to let you guys know, um, I had the same amount of cards in each deck, okay? I just wanted to do, like, the different, you know. So, let's see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Shit. Listen, let me move this up. All right. So, this definitely could be someone new. Yeah, I'm getting new, new. Yeah, this could be definitely someone new. Okay. Uh, I also put three um, tarot cards in here to give us maybe the sign of this person. You know, maybe, you know, just other little information about them. We'll get into that in a minute. Oh, we have the storm morning. And we have rest and rejuvenation. Wow. Okay, so first of all, begin now. Take your first steps. I feel like this person is definitely someone new. Um, hmm, we have the desert prince. So this could have been someone who has been through a survival or, you know, the battle. Someone who's um, a survivor. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> someone who um is a survivor i'm sorry yes a survivor is what i'm getting uh with this desert prince card um i feel like this person is definitely moving forward i feel like this person is definitely letting love lead the way and and you know light up the way um This person is definitely coming forward. I do feel like this is a new person. Um, they may have been someone who has held on to a lot of guilt or to a lot of things that didn't assist in this person's um, soul's growth. Okay. And now I feel like, yeah, with this shine card, this person has a burst of adrenaline or just like a burst of freedom breaking through and coming into a new here. Yeah. Then we have the new vitality. Yeah. So this is this, this person is finally maybe going through their own breakthrough and really beginning to focus on something new um you know happiness new abundance joy you know they focus on new love here is what i'm getting okay yeah especially with the rest and rejuvenation i feel like this person is definitely resting and recovering from a battle or resting and recovering from a hard time okay this person could be spiritual is what i'm getting um yeah i feel like this person changed their life around okay so let's see yeah, this is definitely someone new. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. We have, yeah, the Five of um, Swords. And we have the Two of, of uh, Pentacles. So I feel like this person um, could have been a juggler. Or they just could have been 
you know, having a really hard time, maybe struggling, very indecisive, not knowing which way to go in life is what I'm getting. Um, you know, coming from a lot of conflicts and having to battle, um, I feel like, yeah, this person had to go through life maybe being on the defense, um, but I feel like this person has grown. Could be a, um, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, very intelligent, very smart. I feel like this person um, is very experienced and very intelligent, and this person probably could make a great um counselor or um, maybe like a mentor or something like that. I feel like this person has really been through the struggle, has really been through the storm here. Um, yeah, and I feel like this person is definitely releasing old things, maybe people, places, and things, bad habits, and different things like that, and they're really coming into a new. Um, so this person definitely could be going through a spiritual awakening, this person, yeah, I feel like this person that has, I know this is a crush, you know, who has a crush on you. Yeah, but that's when I'm getting this person. Yeah, I feel like they have gone through some sort of major transformation. I really feel like they have been through the struggle, okay? And they are ready to begin anew, okay? They're moving, like going off on this new journey. This spiritual journey is what I'm getting, okay, with this energy, all right yo so so yeah that i was going to say yo so yeah that's what i'm getting um oh my goodness and then we have the crown chakra so um yeah this person i feel is yeah very spiritual very connected to spirit okay and Yeah, I feel like they're changing and they're focused on new things, new happiness, new things to come, you know, joy. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. They're realizing their full potential and wanting to break free. But I feel this could be like a spiritual connection, whoever this person is. Okay, I know it's it, it's more of them coming from the struggle and, you know, breaking free and, and, and starting this new life. But it is, you know, romance here, you know, romantic feeling. So this is someone new. This is what I'm getting, okay? So, yeah, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. For those of you who pick my desert rose stone or rose desert stone, whatever, <laughs> Um, let's see <laughs> who has a crush on you. Wow, traveling lightly. Whoever this is, they're definitely uh, carrying uh, nothing but themselves here. <laughs> they're definitely traveling lightly. So that's a good thing. Okay. Oh, blossoming abundance. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We ain't get to you yet. Wait, look, he want to come out already. Okay. Could be a fire sign. Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I'm getting Sagittarius. Okay. God dang it. You ready to come out? Hold on. Give me a second now. Okay. Shit. Give me a second. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, look, the dream walker. Oh, yeah. Someone could be walking. <laughs> someone could be walking. Walker traveling lightly. I don't know this person. I don't know if they got a car or not. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, connecting with the living water. Okay, mm, I never saw this one before. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. His hands formed the dry land too. Hmm. So it could be a very hard worker. I'm getting or hmm, let's see. Love yourself first. Let's see. Indecision. Use my aspect of all life. Yeah, this person is walking. Like, I think. I don't even see no car reaching out. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. This, do this person has, have a car? This person is walking. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Okay. So, look. This says, look. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hold on, baby. All right. So, I feel like someone 
could be definitely uh, so this person who whoever has a crush on you um wow i feel like this i don't know this person walks in and out of your life okay uh we do have the moving on so i feel like could have been a numerous of cycles and changes and stagnation when it comes to this person i don't know if you're in or you're out here is what i'm getting we have traveling lightly Sim uh, simplify your life okay so this person wants a very easy the easy way here i don't know if this person okay we have reach out teamwork preparation okay so it could be okay the three of pentacles okay we got the eight of cups so emotionally walking away Okay, to want to come, okay, so this person, okay, I don't, this person could be an in and outer is what I'm getting, okay, because we have the eight of the, um, I was going to say the eight of cups, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the moving on card, then we have the reach out card, then we have the five, the, the uh, change your focus, so some sort of change, wanting, okay, so di uh, disappointment, loss, okay, so I feel like this person is indecisive, uh, you really have to use your intuition when it comes to this person, whoever has a crush on you, okay, I feel like this person could be like in and out here, I mean, one minute you're here, next minute you're gone, that's what I'm getting, the dream walker, yes, literally, this motherfucker, like, oh my goodness, I'm getting like, I don't know, this person, you never know, what you're going to get here this person may have a lot of options open to them here okay we have blossoming abundance i feel like maybe you could have a lot of money or or maybe they could have a lot of money i don't know but um the romance angels are here to say for you to love yourself first okay your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i feel like this person is is more like an in and outer okay i don't know like i just feel like you have to use your intuition when it comes to this person this person could be very indecisive you know back and forth um maybe this person you know one minute they change their mind next minute they're back um you know <laughs> when they walk away it's some sort of disappointment and loss and you know someone feels unappreciated or you may feel like this person don't appreciate you here is what i'm getting i don't know if it's third parties you um you know more than one person involved as you like it's more than one person maybe this person has a habit of dating you and other people as well um yeah that's what i'm getting here but let's see and then you know what this knight of wands kept popping out i don't know if there's just like an in and out or keeps popping in and out I, whoever this person is could definitely be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius <laughs> we have the two of cups and then we have the queen of pentacles and that ties in with that abundance card so you could be definitely financially stable very grounded down to earth um very loving responsible that's what i'm getting it's like you are, I mean, you, when you work on something, you really put your all into it. As you can see, guys, like, if you really look close, this, this stag on, um, that pentacle is so shiny. You can see the reflection of her face in the damn coin. So I feel like this person, you, you could be a perfectionist, okay? taking pride in what you do, taking pride in, you know, your family, you know, really focused on, like, your business, you know, your family, um, I guess when you love, you love hard, obvious, obviously, um, you may have had a lot of feelings for this person here, um, I feel like this person wants to come and run to you, and hug you, and kiss you, and, you know, but, I mean, with this Knight of Wands energy, this person could just be in and out, in and out, in and out. Like, you know, here one minute, gone the next is what I'm getting, okay? Um, we have, you know, I ain't even really read into this one. Um, I feel like, I don't know, this person may feel like you belong to, to him, you know, he or she. Like, they may feel like you belong to them, Um And yeah, and it's and it was so crazy. It's almost like back and forth, back and forth, because it says the sea belonged to him for he made it. So I feel like this person feels that you belong to them. And then it says his hands form the dry land too. So it's like e like either or. That's what I'm getting with this card. I'm kind of like reading in between the lines. 
roll with me, roll with me, you guys, okay? And then I feel like, yeah, the Dreamwalker, it talks about illusions as well. Um, could be, this person could be making promises and not following through here, just like an in and out energy. That's what I'm getting. I don't even want to clarify this because I already know what's going to show up. I mean, I do want to clarify it, but it's like, uh, because this energy, I'm feeling like this person may have passion for you, but I don't know. Let's see. What's the page you want? I just want to see this person going to wind up sticking around because I'm, I feel like this could be like an in and outer. Okay. Like you here today, gone tomorrow type of, um, do or type of female here traveling lightly type of. <laughs> okay. So we have, um, the eight of swords and this kind of just kind of like irritated me okay and look at the bottom of the deck we got the devil so this person could be very toxic okay um and it's almost like he's coming to set you free um but in an arrogant way almost like he knows that you know, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of weird, okay? Look, just love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like this person is more of an in and outer. They may come around when you are blossoming, when you are glowing, when you are, um, you know, when you, when you glow up. Like, yeah, when you glow up. That's what I'm getting, all right? So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. For those of you who picked my heart, Crystal, let's get into this reading and let's see who has a crush on you. Oh, we have the Rainbow Prince. Okay. We have Desert Passage. Okay. Trust there is a divine plan. Oh, we have a man holding a heart. Look, oh, all of these hearts. Wow, someone is definitely in love with you. I feel like you could know this person. I don't know, like, he's holding a heart. You're holding a heart. There's a heart in the middle of you two. Like, that just kind of fell out of nowhere. So, I, I'm going to keep that right there because it's love in the air. Okay. Oh, that rhymed. Wow. Okay. Let's see. You may even know this person. Okay. Become still so you may hear God. Okay. Mm. Mm. And this person may be into God as well. You know, into, into you know, very, you know, some religion. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Whatever, whatever you believe in. Okay. But it's always good to believe in the Lord. Yes. All right, so we have the flow card, and we have control, okay, we have pride, hmm, free yourself, okay, so right off the bat, maybe someone needs to free themselves, maybe, um, okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, okay, <clears throat> maybe this person has a little bit of pride issues is what I'm getting, um, okay, but we do have the rainbow prince, so this is about, you know, you being through the storm. This is like the reward after the storm. That is the rainbow prince. Yeah, trust that there's a divine plan. It's like this person is coming from out of this narrow cave type of deal here. And, you know, I feel like this person has came from, you know, a, a struggle for real. You know what I'm saying? Like um, hard, tough times, possibly. Okay, yeah, like battling. Um, maybe, you know, this person may have had to be defensive or, you know, hmm, I don't know, but they're, they're coming from, um, they're coming from out of a storm and they are getting rewarded for, for, um, following the right path is what I'm getting. Trust that there's a divine plan. I feel like you guys are going to be divinely guided here. That's what I'm getting, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like... But someone has to free themselves or release themselves, take back control of their life. They may have some pride issues where someone is 
prideful, maybe needing to open up, you know, loosen up. Um, maybe someone could be shy or maybe someone... Yeah, and then look, control. So someone needs to get gain their confidence back here, okay? It talks about compassion, having patience, okay? Um, we have the flow card. It talks about releasing, letting things flow, okay? Letting things flow naturally. Wow, we have the tower and we have the, okay, ten of wands. So, yeah, I feel like someone is coming from out of maybe a shake-up, a tower moment, some devastating shit happening with this tower, okay? You or, or both, you, male or female, whatever it is, I feel like could could it could be, thank you, Spirit, because I'm getting, it could be both of you coming from destruction and mayhem and just messed up relationships that crumbled and you guys are releasing those heavy burdens and I feel like you guys are going to be coming together I feel like the universe are going to be bringing two people that has been through rough and hard battles when it comes to relationships trust issues all of that and you guys are going to be freeing yourself Okay, breaking away, dropping those heavy burdens, and you're going to be coming together. This is a divinely guided connection. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the universe bringing two people together. So, whoever has a crush on you, I feel like, yeah, you could be single. Um, they could be single, and then you guys are going to be getting together. Okay, but first, I feel like someone needs to break free, take back control of their life, um, release um, any negative thing. You know what I'm saying? Have more confidence is what I'm getting, okay? And then, yeah, someone needs to reevaluate, you know, um, choose their battles wisely is what I'm getting. Um, try to loosen up and not be so defensive, okay? Because I do feel that there is love, like two people is definitely going to be getting together, no doubt, okay? We have woman holding a heart and we have man holding a heart and we have the Ace of Cups in the middle. What? A coincidence okay <laughs> wow okay so yeah this is what i got for you guys if this reading resonated with you please like share and subscribe to my channel oh yeah this could this could be um a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or a water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio okay all right you guys so if this reading resonated with you please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye bye for those of you who pick my tower crystal, let's get into this reading and let's see who has a crush on you. Oh, we have a happy home. So whoever it is, they want a home with you. Okay. Hmm. All right. The, the wing wise ones. I love this because this talks about help from the spirit guides, help from the angels. This is about miracles happening. Okay. Yes. I love this card. I really do. We have the swan queen. Oh, transformation, intuition, and patience. So you guys need to have your um, patience. You guys need, yeah. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Have patience. Know that um, your ancestors or, you know, angels, this is them helping you here, okay? This is spirit helping you, okay? And for you to have patience is what I'm getting. Go with your intuition. Use your intuition. Talk to your, talk to your spirit guides, okay? We have um, Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you, okay? So they're definitely bringing love to you is what I'm getting. Wow. Okay, yeah, you guys are having a lot of anxieties. That's why they're telling you to have patience. Listen to your intuition. Don't overreact. Don't, um... You know, like, it's like you may be wanting to, like, you want love so bad. You're just having anxiety about it. That's what I'm getting, like, okay, so I know this is a crush, Um, you know, who has a crush on you, but I'm getting, like, this is this ain't about no crush. This is about you. Like, that's what I'm getting. Let me see. Yeah, see, heal, forgiveness. Oh, yeah, this is about you. Okay. Communicate. Wow. Clear, clarity of belief. Okay, transformation. Yeah, again, we have another transformation card. Yeah, so two transformation. You guys need to have patience. You guys are tied up in your head. You're bound to something that's keeping you up at night, having a lot of anxieties. Okay, wow. We have third eye chakra. Okay, wow. 
grief. See, yeah, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. You guys are having a lot of anxiety and you're holding on to a lot of grief here. That you're tied up with something here. I know this is supposed to be okay, we have let go of control issues. Yeah, you have to release in here. You have to let go of this negative shit that you're holding on to. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because I feel like the angels are going to bring someone into your life. They're going to you know, bring you someone that's going to give you a happy home. You're going to have a stable foundation. But I feel like you need to go through your own healing here. You need to, like, you need to open up, okay? Or you need to start having more hope and faith is what I'm getting. Break the chains, the change that you're tied to, whatever that's bounding you, that's keeping you trapped. With this grief card, like you have too many cards that's like keeping you trapped. That's why the angels are saying for you to have patience, you should use your intuition. Like, call on the angels, ask them. That's what I'm getting. Like, wow, 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 wow. We have the five of pentacles. Yeah, you're feeling left out in the cold. Could, could have been by an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay, we have the two of swords. You're indecisive. Someone is, you're at a stalemate, or someone is fighting over you. I don't know. Let me see. Pay uh, the hangman. Okay, so stagnant. You're stuck. You're stuck here. You're feeling left out in the cold. And then we have the two of swords. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. I want to clarify this. Let's see. What is the two of swords? And then we have voice to the heart. Love flows flows through you and and to you. The third eye chakra. So yeah, you're not. You need to be more connected with spirit. You, you are not using your intuition here. And I don't know if you lost a battle. Someone lost. I feel like you could have lost a battle or something, male or female. I, let me see. What's the two of um, swords? The magician. Okay. Wow. So this is having all the tools that you need. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, this is spirit telling you that you have everything that you need. I feel like you're stuck, you're indecisive, but it's like you're at a stalemate because you're at a stalemate. You feel left out in the cold because I feel like you're in your head with this. You're not allowing yourself to take off this blindfold and to see and to see clearly. That's what I'm getting here. It's like, yeah, you need to take off this blindfold. I feel like they're not holding you back. You're holding yourself back. You're refusing to see or let go of something here. Okay? That's what I'm getting. You could be refusing to let go of um of a past love here is what I'm getting. But I feel that, yeah, because I feel like you you um feel left out in the cold here. Okay? But the angels are telling you to let go of control issues. Let the situation. Let, allow the situation to unfold naturally. The universe is going to send you someone for you. I feel like you will have a stable home, okay? Yes, my people will live in safety. Quietly at home, they will be at rest. So I feel like, yeah, God and the angels will definitely want you to release this negative energy. Release feeling feelings of being left out in the cold. Release holding on to someone who no longer wants you is what I'm getting. It's like the angels are saying that you have all, they're going to give you all the tools that you need. You just have to release yourself and take off this blindfold, okay? Yes, you have to release the chains that are binding you to this person, okay? That's what I'm getting. I have no more to say about this. If this reading resonated with you in any way, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.